In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this spill effect using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up, guys? Thrill here, back with another video. And as you can see, this is the final output. You can call it pill effect, you can call it paper strip effect, whatever you like. So to create this effect, let's go and open the image. So I'm going to go to file, open, select the photo and open it. Okay, so first step, double click on the background and unlock it. Now we need to do selection of the face and for that I'm going to use quick selection tool. So right click quick selection and just make selection of the face. Uh, I mean, as you can see this hair here or the fingers, we don't need any of that. Just focus on the basic face. Uh, and I think this is good enough and once this is done go and click on your layer mask now select your move tool from here and move it in the center somewhere around here and before we do anything let's go and crop it to give it that cinematic resolution so I'm gonna select my crop tool and here go and select 16 gem 9 or you can go to ratio and type 1920 by 1080 okay so once this is done hit enter key and click on this arrow to confirm it and after that let's go and create the background so for that click on this icon here and create a new blank layer and go and put it under your model after that go and select your paint bucket tool so right click here select paint bucket and in the color go and select any dark grayish color so i think this is good then go and hit ok and fill it now let's go and apply gradient on the background so for that right click on your layer and select blending options and here go and click on gradient overlay and in the gradient I'm using radial and in the gradient I'm using my foreground to background so we have this gray and white color as our gradient so click on that hit ok and in the blend mode keep it soft light and in the scale go and make it all the way 150 adjust it a little bit and reduce the opacity a tiny bit so 41% looks good then go and hit ok now let's go and create strips but before you do that make the copy of the face so activate the layer 0 then press ctrl j so you have a copy in case we screw up something we don't have to do this selection again so for now grab this layer and put it in the background we don't need it for now so activate your layer 0 where we will work and first thing go and select your lasso tool right click and select lasso now what you have to do is make strips with the selection and don't worry if it's not accurate that will actually make it look little better so first go and make selection of let's say bottom portion like this so this is done now to make another selection make sure you have the second option active here so it will allow you to do as many selections as you want now i'm gonna go and make selection of the lip and just letting you know that i'm also using mouse so it is doable with mouse not that difficult and when you make the selection uh, i'm gonna go and first select lip little bit from the nose one from the eye and then from forehead so we can identify a person easily so let's go and make another selections so the selection is done but what we need to remove is actually outside of selection so for that go to select and then select inverse so everything outside is selected then go and activate your layer mask here and in the color make sure you have black color on your foreground and then press alt backspace so that is gone and to remove the selection go to select and deselect so the foreground strips are ready and now we have to create the background strips that will join all of this so for that go and create a new blank layer from here and now to actually make the selection go and zoom in and the first i will go and start from here randomly and then joint one point here and don't release your mouse key when you do this thing so i'm gonna go and now one thing from here so create a shape something like this and you have your selection and now i'm gonna do the same i'm gonna go and start from the top corner of this one from here and then i will join this line on the top corner of this one then drag it down a little bit and draw it to right here something like this you just have to join corners from corner on every single shape so the selection is ready now let's go and add in the color and for that make sure you have your brush tool ready then hold on your alt key and option if you are using apple and then select a little bit darker tone from the skin so i think this tone looks pretty good 
and then also make sure your blank layer is active and press alt backspace so you will fill in the color and now let's remove the selection select and deselect looking good now go take this layer and put it under your model something like this so as you can see we have basic effect going on and I also want to give this background strips a little bit more circular filling and you can do that just press ctrl T then right click and select warp and then go and drag them down a little bit something like this so you can make them slightly circular if you want so as you can see after making it circular it looks a little bit better now let's go and add some shadow to background strips and for that right click here and select blending options let's put it here okay so first thing you want to do is apply a gradient overlay and in the gradient go and select reflected and i'm gonna go and reduce the scaling so we can see what is going on so as you can see this white line here uh, to get that make sure your angle is 180 and in the opacity try to keep it like 30 40 percent and in the blend mode it will be soft light and then in the gradient go and select black and white hit ok and if it looks something like this that means uh, you need to reverse it so just click on reverse and you will be good uh, and then go and increase the opac uh, sorry scale uh, until it looks uh, it blends properly so i think 57 percent looks good and let's increase the opacity a touch okay so 48 looks good and go and hit ok now let's add shadows to give it more depth and for that go and create new blank layer and make sure that this layer is exactly on top of your background strips and after that first of all double click and just name it shadows and after that before you do anything right click and select create clipping mask so now when i paint anything let's go and get a black color and make sure opacity is somewhere around 50 percent so now when i paint anything it will stay on the background strips so to paint it uh, make your brush a little bit bigger uh, right click and make sure hardness is zero percent so we have really soft shadows uh, and then go and start painting like this a little bit on the corners here and a little bit here and a little bit here then let's go and paint here So I think this is looks good enough. Let's go and turn it on and off. So as you can see, adding the shadow gives it a lot more depth. And here's one thing you can do. If you want like a little less effect, you can go and reduce the opacity like this. Or if you want the more effect, you can simply go and press Ctrl J. And of course, right click and create clipping mask. So it only stays on the layer. And now you can go and decrease the opacity of this layer. So it gives you a lot more control over like how much effect do you need so i think this looks all right let's go and try to make it 35 okay so this looks good enough and so this looks good and the final effect is ready but before we go i want to show you one thing i mean it doesn't look good but you can experiment so do you see this layer zero here where we have cut out of the face uh this one so go and make a copy of this thing double click on this one and name it invert Okay, now go and put it on top of everything and hide this layer as well. Now go and turn this everything back on. So we have this effect and we have this cutout of model on top of everything. Now make sure you have model active, not the layer mask, but the model and then press Ctrl I. Then take this layer and put it under your model like this. Then go and press Ctrl T, hold your Alt key and drag it a little bit from the side to make it smaller in comparison of your strips then go and confirm it and after that go and activate your layer on the top this one then right click and select blending options and here go and add a drop shadow and then go and increase the distance a little bit and then go and increase the size a little bit so this way you can add shadow and you can experiment basically uh, however you want so this is one thing and also when you make the strips as you can see this is not very great example but as you can see here to achieve this look i mean it's basically same process but when i did the selection i made sure that it's a little bit more curvy and both eyes they are on different layer just to give it some different look you can also look at the original file let's go and turn everything on so 
here in the original you can also see that I did a little bit more curves and here it's a little bit more straight so it depends on what kind of look you are going for you can do anything with this thing so that's it and I really hope that you guys learned something from this video if you did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions feel free to ask me in comment section below if you are new here you can click on any of these boxes to check out more videos by me also you can click on that subscribe button so every time I upload a new video you will get the update plus clicking on that subscribe button will take you to my youtube channel where I have tons of photoshop tutorials waiting for you so till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop